bag and everything. Come on, come on, tell me, tell me, guys. Ah! Oh my God, he posted two days in a row. What is happening? What is this world? Is this 2018? <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Vlad, I go by Waxen, and this is my second day in a row posting, like back in 2018, how I used to do it. And if you want me to post tomorrow, let's get this video to 100 likes. Let's just jump into today's video. What will we be talking about? Well, today I will be taking a look at clothing and what people were wearing through the history of humanity. So what better way to start it than taking a look at what we were wearing in the very beginning. You know what, maybe we should start with ancient history, not the beginnings of times, because we, we weren't wearing much at the beginning of time according to these uh, paintings that I found online. What were people wearing in ancient Greece? See, like, this guy was very pro-free the nipple movement. I think that was a thing that back in 2017 was happening as well. I'm pretty sure it, uh, it happened because uh, everyone was inspired by the Greek, uh, <laughs> Greek clothing and, you know, men were all uh, chest empowering and all that. Okay, let's find a group picture. Okay, that's quite interesting. V very interesting. Another gentleman that is uh, topless. I feel like society has not evolved that much because you can still see guys like this walking down the street. And not me. I mean, sometimes not me. <laughs> okay, what else was like uh, back in that time? Let's see Roman culture. Ancient Roman Empire. Clothing. In this one, we can see the man. Oh my god, this is a, the man was uh, definitely covering up his chest. Everyone uh, was wearing hats. Were they wearing hats in Greece? I don't think they were wearing hats in Greece. Okay, so in this picture, we can see a group of three, six, nine women, I suppose, based on their clothing. And they were wearing, uh, well, the long dresses, which I don't know how they were called. I guess they were garments. And then the thing on top, like a shawl or like a toga. I don't know what. I think that's a toga. Am I right? Tell me, tell me in the comments below, am I right or wrong, guys? I might be wrong, I don't freaking know, I'm not good with clothing, and that's why we're doing this video. I'm trying to explore and expand my, uh, my knowledge of uh, fashion uh, throughout the history of humanity. Uh, let's go, let's, ju let's jump a few <laughs> hundred thousand years, no, just a few thousand years, to uh, the 1400s. I've always been very curious about this period in history in general, not just clothing-wise, because when I was studying history, I felt like we were just jumping over like the, the late... Uh, 900, 9th century to 1500th century, so I'm curious what were people wearing. So we've got the late Gothic and early Italian Renaissance, and I may say it's very, it's way more fashionable, I would say, than what we will see at the ancient Greeks and Romans, but that, that, that's very, very interesting and very niche. I like the colors, the colors are definitely way more varied, and the other one you could only see, you know, like the, uh, where, where, where is it? You know, the plain white with just uh, one complementary color, where this one is just all out there. Like, this guy is wearing a green, a purplish, a bit of an orange on his purse, and his uh, leggings that are definitely yellow, pur purple, no, orange, sorry. Uh, red cape. I mean, the colors are definitely there. And what is she wearing? What is on her head? Like, what? Is, is that a hairstyle? Is that a hat? <laughs> Imagine wearing something like this in 2020. Interesting, interesting. I, I, I'm very, very fascinated. What, what, what is your favorite current, I guess? Uh, let's go to the 1800s. I always said that I would have loved living in, like, in uh, the 1800s or early 1900s, I suppose, because, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I love the culture that uh, I read about in books and you see like in uh, movies from back then. So let's see, let's see. Oh, we've got uh, early 19th century. Quite, quite plain for the lady. I think, I think this was... Uh, I mean, she looks like she's wearing a nightgown, let's be realistic. Whereas the guy looks like he's coming from a, like a, a, a dinner with the, the guys and with the big hats. See, like, why did we lose the hats? Like, wh when? Why? Because I feel like the hats were such a fashionable uh, uh, accessory, I suppose. Then 25 years later, the kid is also wearing a hat and the lady has a lot of volume in her, under her dress. And that we can see that's something that carries on for kind of pretty much the remainder of the of the century, which is very, very interesting. Like, what was the thought process behind, or like the, the creative decision for someone to make 
to add the volume to their dresses. Like I can't imagine being a woman and wearing this, not on a daily basis, but like, you know, on a routine basis because I feel like it would be such a pain in the ass especially with the corset it's, I think that's what it calls a corset right let me let me check this out corset is corset corset perfect okay that, that's what I was talking about we've got another one which is a bit more uh, over the years more more specific y you know you can you can genuinely notice it from year to year how the the width of the bottom side of the dress is getting wider and wider it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated. We can see early, early 19th century, we see ladies were wearing the dresses off the shoulders and then there was a period when they put it off the shoulders and then they went down the shoulders again. <laughs> like, it's so, so, such an interesting thing. And then I see a bit of a stagnation like halfway through, like it's kind of pretty much the same thing other than the volume in the, around the legs that's very... This looks like a very old wedding, I, I mean I'm just assuming because they seem to be very fancy dressed and you know the flowers, it looks like a flower bouquet for a wedding, but uh, what, what do I know, maybe that's just something casual I guess that people were wearing on a day to day basis. But he does, the guy looks like he's offering her flowers, like you know I took my hat off. Here are some flowers to you madame. You know, you know what I mean? That kind of a thing. What is this photo? Is she wearing a carpet? Like, <laughs> I swear to God, she looks like she's wearing a folded carpet on her head. That that must not be real, is it? What? What? If anyone knows what that is, please tell me in the comments below. I, I want to buy one for myself. Like, you know what? I could probably rock that. So give me, give me some, give me something. Okay, there we go. I'm ready. You're telling me I couldn't rock that style. Look at this. She has a bag and everything. Come on, come on, tell me, tell me guys. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what, I love that. That was good. I, I could rock that style. Although, I mean, I mean, she's a lady, but you know, I'm, I'm all for uh, trying out new things. The very long socks, that's another thing that has, that's not, it's not as big as it used to be a few hundred years ago. Let's go 1900 clothing. Oh my God, oh my God. Poor girl, what? I think like that's the next step, you know, after carrying the towel or like the blanket on your head, you just went for, for it just, it's out there, I guess, it's really out there. And why does that guy look a bit like Ryan Reynolds? You know, if you, <laughs> just me, okay, <laughs> just me, I suppose. In 1905, they just gave up on the hats. Then they picked it back up, but like 1905 was like, you know what, we just gonna get our hair curly, no, <laughs> no hat for this year. Early half of the decade, they're wearing things that are more, uh, tight on their bodies so you can uh, like sh kind of shows the curves I know it's a painting and all that or whatever this is but and whereas towards the end of the decade it looks a bit more plain more, more I guess sober is the word that I'm looking for but what about men like I'm interested in what were men wearing tell me this isn't phenomenal tell me like this is so great like I would love if this would still be something that people would wear on a routine basis like okay people still wear suits and like men still wear suits and go here and there but like you know I've not seen a man in his mid 30s use a crane ever I don't think unless you know he needs it for stability whereas these guys were wearing it for as an accessory you know and the hats oh my god the hats and the beret and then Oh yeah, this is one every 10 years uh, in the early 20th century. So we saw the first decade, then the second decade, like I said, it seems a bit more uh, loose. I, I, they, they're not tight anymore, they're not like, they can finally breathe, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, still with a nice hat as an accessory. Then we've got the 20s, which... Wow, the, like the 20s and the 30s really reminds me of uh, something I would see my aunt wear. The early 40s is, the well, early 40s is not for me, man. The early 40s is just like, it's a bit too plain. Late 40s though, other than the hat, which I think is absolutely horrendous, it's really, really great. Like I really, I, I like the contrasting colors. I know it's black and white, but you know what I'm saying. Then the 50s, you know, when, uh, and the 60s when, you know, uh, everything started being more, cool, more fun, because after the post-World War uh, thing, people just discovered life, I suppose. So what were people wearing in the 60s? 60s clothing. This looks like so much fun. It, it gives me Nancy Sinatra vibes. W what is 70s clothing? Yep, I mean, I think this sums up pretty much the 70s. <laughs> 
I think this sums up the 70s pretty well. I'm just saying the pants were it, the multicolored vest, obviously the piece. Uh, the peace necklace, 80s clothing, Jesus! I feel like 80s clothing is like what has had the most influence on even current clothing. You can find resemblance in the 80s clothing definitely in the 2020s these days. What about men clothes? Okay, 90s clothing. The big baggy jeans, you can feel, you can still feel this in the 2010s or I guess in the early 2000s. 2000s clothing. See like, <laughs> I feel like this doesn't represent what the clothing was in the 2000s other than more than just, I don't freaking know, maybe three years at best, I, or maybe just for the 2000 year. But oh my God, what was NSYNC wearing? Jeez Louise. But speaking of clothing, if you guys want, you can go check the merchandise store out. Go get some 2020 clothing, help me and support the channel. That was all for today's video. We just took a short look at clothing throughout the years. Now versus then. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay hydrated and see you next time whatever I do.